Hi everybody, today on Rachel Cooks with Love, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a classic chicken chile soup. It's perfect for cool fall or wintry days or any time of the year. And the best part about it is it's hearty, it's easy to make with just a few easy to find ingredients. And I know you're gonna love it. So today I'm gonna show you how to make it step by step. Let's get started. So these are the ingredients that I'm gonna be using today to make my soup. I've got five Anaheim peppers. Now I removed the seeds and I roasted them in the oven and here they are. If you can't find Anaheim peppers, you can use poblano peppers. You can even use chilies out of the can. There's nothing wrong with that. I've got two cups of pinto beans, but you can also use great northern beans or cannellini beans. They're all delicious. I have one and a half cups of finely chopped onions. I have one cup of diced tomatoes and I have one and a half pounds of chicken breast and I have cut it up into bite-sized cubes. See, it works out perfectly in the soup, but you can also use pork or you can use ground beef or you can use your favorite beef. You might have to adjust the cooking time though. I have one cup of fresh corn off the cob, but you can use frozen corn or you can even use corn out of the can. That also works out just beautifully. I'm gonna be using salt as needed, two large garlic cloves that are finely minced, half a teaspoon of Mexican oregano, one bay leaf. I have one teaspoon of whole cumin and one teaspoon of peppercorns in here. I already passed them through my spice grinder because I want them to be just fresh, but you can use store-bought. And I'm gonna be using cilantro as needed. I have four cups of broth. It was very hot water and I added four teaspoons of chicken bouillon, but you can also use better than bouillon if you'd rather do that. I put it in here because I want it to dissolve so that all the flavors can come in together really good like this. Now I'll just set it aside until I'm ready to use it. So these are the ingredients. We can move on to the next step. So I'm chopping up two of the Anaheim peppers because I want a little bit of texture in the soup but not a lot. Now in this blender cup, I'm gonna put in my three Anaheim peppers and I'm gonna add a little bit of this broth. See, that should be good. It'll give it beautiful color and texture. Here we go. And that's good. Now we can move on to the stove. So I'm gonna be using this Dutch oven to make my soup. I've got the heat set on medium and I'm gonna add one and a half tablespoons of olive oil in here. Now I'm gonna add my chicken. I'm gonna give it a light sear. Now, I know many recipes call for just throwing the chicken in raw, but I don't like that, because to me it's just boiled. And I like to give it a little sear, because that'll give it a beautiful, delicious flavor and a little bit of color. Now I'm just gonna give it about a minute before I flip it over to the other side. I don't wanna cook it completely. I just wanna give it a little bit of color and sear it lightly. See, see how it's looking nice and golden from the bottom? That's what we want. So my chicken has a nice sear. It's just perfect, nice and golden. Now I'm gonna add my onions. I want the onions to release their flavor in here before I add anything else, see? I'm also gonna add my garlic along with the onions. and I'm gonna give it a stir. I just want the onions to get slightly translucent and for the garlic to release its flavor. And it's already smelling heavenly in here. Oh my gosh. So it's been about a minute since I added my onions and my garlic. Now I'm gonna add a little flour. I have one tablespoon of flour. This is gonna give it a little thickness. It's gonna make it nice and hearty. I'm gonna move it around like this and I'm gonna let the flour just get slightly toasted. Now, can you see that it's nice and golden at the bottom? That means that our flour is nice and toasted. Now I'm gonna add my cumin and my peppercorns in here. I'm gonna move it around. I'm gonna add my oregano. I'm gonna add my tomatoes. I'm gonna add my corn. I'm gonna add my chile mixture. 
I'm gonna add my chicken broth. Here are the Anaheim peppers that I put through the blender. Oh, look at this. I'm gonna put in my bay leaf. I'm gonna put in my beans. I'm gonna add my salt. This is about three fourths of a teaspoon, but you can add as much as you want. You can start off slowly, a little bit at a time until it's just the way you like it. Now, as I'm stirring it around, I can feel that the fond at the bottom is just all coming up into the pot. And that's what's gonna give us that beautiful flavor in here. Look at this, see? Oh man, this is gonna be so good. And the flour that I put in here is gonna be our thickening agent. It's gonna get just a little thicker. Now it is a soup, so it's not gonna be very thick, but it's gonna be perfect. So now I'm gonna replace my lid and I'm gonna wait until it comes up to a light boil. Once it comes up to a light boil, I'm gonna lower the temperature to a low boil and I'm gonna let it cook for about 25 minutes, just like this. So it's been 25 minutes. Now let's look at our soup. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's been cooking on low all this time and it smells wonderful in here. Now it's time to put in our cilantro. I'm gonna turn off the heat because this soup is ready, see? Now I'm gonna remove the bay leaf. It already served its purpose and we're ready to serve. Here's my soup. Look at this. Oh, so hearty, so perfect. Just like that. Now for our toppers. I've got some freshly grated mild cheddar cheese. I'm gonna add some green onions, sliced like this. I've got some slightly mashed avocado, so good in here. And I'm gonna put in a dollop of sour cream. Yum. I've got some crostini bread. You get it nice and wet in here. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna put a little pepper. Mmm, the crostini bread is so good in here. Now it's time for a taste test. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Now you can also serve this with some tortilla strips. You get your corn tortillas into thin strips, toss them with a little bit of oil and paprika and salt and pepper, and put them into your oven until they're golden and crunchy. But my Ron, he likes the crostini bread, don't you, honey? I do. Yes, he does, and so do I. So this is my delicious chicken chile soup. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up, send me a comment and tell me what you think. Thank you.